What's going on guys? In today's video we're going to look at overwintering your bonsai trees and how I overwinter my bonsai trees up in Canada. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. The first step in overwintering your bonsai trees is to know exactly what your USDA zoning is for both your climate and the trees in your collection. You can check your area zoning by doing a quick Google search and searching for your respective area. Since I'm in Barrie, Ontario, I can see after Googling that area that I'm in anywhere from a zone 5A to zone 5B on the USDA zoning chart. What this means is that trees above a zone 5A tagging will need additional protection during the winter months. Trees below this rating can remain outside during the winter and will not be harmed by the cold winter weather. It is also important to remember that this chart is meant to reference trees and shrubs which will be grown on the ground. Pot grown trees, such as bonsai, tend to be more sensitive to winter conditions as their roots are restricted and are not insulated beneath a significant ground cover. Uh, so therefore it's a good idea to always add an extra zoning measure to your trees when you factor them into the zoning chart. The next step is to look at the winter hardiness of your trees and to assess the individual care that will be needed for each of your trees. Remember that different trees in your collection will have different care requirements. As an example, if we were to Google the zone hardiness of trident maples, we can see that their hardiness is anywhere from a zone 5 to 9, meaning that I would need to provide it with protection during the winter months or else the plant would suffer. If we then look at another popular bonsai tree, the Shimpaku juniper, we can see that this tree is zoned from between zone 3 and 9 and would be able to remain outside with minimal protection in uh, my climate during the winter months. Now that we've determined which trees need protection, let's take a look at my setup during the winter. I tend to overwinter as many of my trees as possible in my garage during the winter months. I do this primarily because I can control the conditions very carefully and I feel better knowing that the trees are protected in the winter and in no harm. I also, uh, as my trees begin to become more developed, I enjoy keeping them in a safe location so as to not have snow load on the branches, potentially damaging any progress that I made during the last growing season. Another question that many people have is whether trees need light during their winter dormancy. The good news is that trees, both conifers and deciduous, uh, do not require light during the winter. Deciduous trees use their leaves for photosynthesis, uh, which they have none of during the winter, and conifers slow their photosynthesis uh, processes during the winter to a point where having light would be of no benefit to them. Another question uh, that many people ask as well is, if you don't have room for trees in your garage or you have no garage or cold frame, uh, what do you do? I would recommend either keeping them against a protected side of your house, like these trees and mine, or if you live in an apartment, buy a big styrofoam ice chest and put your trees in something like that. Uh, it can hold quite a many different Shohin sized trees in one of those, or it can hold one or two larger uh, specimen trees as well. Uh, another option some people choose to do is to actually bury your trees uh, pot and all in the ground over winter and to mulch your trees in to protect them. This works well with native trees as well as, as, well as other trees that are hardy in your climate, uh, but it will not work for more temperate trees uh, that have a higher zoning than where you're located. Lastly, the issue of watering trees in the winter is another thing that many people ask about. Uh, it's important to keep an eye on your trees in the winter to ensure that they don't dry out. A good rule of thumb is that as long as the soil is frozen, uh, you don't need to water your trees as the soil will already be moist and won't be able to hold any more water. However, during hot spells in the winter or when your soil thaws, you might actually need to water your trees occasionally to ensure that they don't dry out. A good tip is to take fresh snow from outside and to place about a half inch to one inch thick layer on top of your pots. That way, when your trees thaw, the snow will melt and water your trees for you as it is needed. Uh, you can also purchase a spray bottle, such as the one I'm using here, to easily water your trees as well. Well, there you have it guys. All the tips and tricks you'll need to know to successfully overwinter your bonsai trees. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video and to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.